So, so welcome to a, a new stream uh, from us. This is going to be a new feature where we do every Tuesday a quick look of either a game that's still in early access, a game that's just released, or even a game that is new to me. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the plan. Um, and with this one, we're going to be taking a look at Cardicalism, which I hope I've said right and haven't butchered the name of. Um, and it's a it's an isometric dungeon crawler with turn-based card mechanics. Um, quite possibly one of the most indie sounding titles you'll ever get to see. So, anyway, I've done the opening uh, tutorial bit just to, to skip past. Um, and we are going more into the main first level now. Uh, so let me just get through these first couple of bits and go from there. So let's see what we've got equipped. Uh, we've got, okay, nothing equipped. There we go. So I thought we picked up new items. We haven't. We've got a staff which acts as our weapon. Um, and it gets has different effects based on what you're doing. Um, so with this one we use it and any cards we play, any creatures we play get plus one health um, on the first turn. So again, it, it'll add into the tactics. If you've played any card game before, you might get the idea. So really simple, I suppose almost um, a Diablo style dungeon crawling movement around. Um so, but what you do is when you approach, rather than going mental at them, um, you basically start an attack or you can flee. So, we'll go in early on this guy and we'll choose to attack. And then you get your turn-based card mechanics. So, what we know here, obviously, is that we've got the ability to get plus one health on whatever we put out. And we've got two enemies we've got to take down. Uh, a golem and a dark archer. Um, and now, obviously, like games like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone, Hearthstone, I'm probably butchering that one as well, let me know, um, is they have different effects as well. So the dark archer here has Inspire, which allows the golem to do two extra damage. So he's going to do seven damage. Um, with his first thing, but he's got five. So let's look at what we can do to counter that. Uh, so, first of all, we've got a fire burst that'll do four damage straight away. And if we can get out, what can we get out? We can just get out a thief. And then we've got an ice wolf. So if we do four damage first to the golem. And then we bring out the thief. And we'll play the thief to get rid of that golem nice and early and negate the Dark Archer's Inspire. Um, we'll end that turn and see what happens next. So, actually, before we do that, um, like you would see in Magic the Gathering um, and other card games like that, there's a cost to play in the cards. Um, so, for example... I can now no longer play uh, the Scorpion Striker because I only have 17. And you collect these gold shards as you go uh, outside of the actual card playing. Um, so you collect these as you go. And this is what allows you to make, turn your, uh, to make your move. So at the start, you're very, very limited in what you can do. Uh, so you've really got to think about what cards you're using. So I can't use my uh, Scorpion Striker next. But I'll do some damage here to uh, to the Dark Archer with my Thief when he attacks me. And then I can play my Ice Wolf and hopefully end the round. So let's see what happens. So we'll do that and then I do a bit of damage back. There we go. Ice Wolf can come in. Uh, so we'll drop the Ice Wolf. Oh, we earned, we earned. I didn't get that in the tutorial. So we do earn some gold. So I could now play that. But anyway. We're going to play the Ice Wolf into there. 
Uh, and I'll tell you what, we might as well play Evade. Play Evade? Sorry, not Evade. That's just his little move. The tiny biter. Uh, we'll, might as well get that free attack in. There we go. And he managed to evade that. And then we'll get in the extra attack with the Ice Wolf. And we are done. Nice, easy starting victory. And we've got ourselves another tiny biter. Okay, so. Like you, let's collect these shards actually before we do anything else. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll see now, look, we've got 34 starting uh, when we're there. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there, no. So. Outside of your dungeon crawling sections that you'll do here, you've also got your uh, book of magic, and this gives you what your your current hands are. And what's really good here, so you see, we've got two tiny biters here that both have evade, um, and they do two damage, um, and they've got one health, and they cost four uh, gold things. I don't know what they're called. What they called doesn't say. They cost four gold fins to play, and um, also I think they cost one blue thing to play as well. Um, I'm not good with names on these 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 games when it comes to the the lore or what things are in it. Anyway, um, what you can do is you can take a tiny biter, put it on another tiny biter, and you get a level two. Uh, this time, we get a chewy. It's upgraded to, um, which is, instead of just evade, we can now steal one attack and one health from whatever enemy we attack. And it now costs 12 to play. Uh, what I like about this is no decisions are absolutely final. So what I can do, if I'm like, Ugh, do I really want to cost play with 12 on these? I can undo that and they cost four apiece again. Um, and I can play two of them. Uh, you can undo anything you've levelled up at any point in the game. So, more cards to play at a lower cost each, or less cards to play at a higher cost but doing more damage. Um, as it stands at the moment, I'm just upgrading. So, let's push ahead. What have we got there? An artifact. Let's see what our artifact does, shall we? Uh, we've got a tunic. So we can equip that, and if we get a Sylvan Cloak and Sylvan Plates, we give a plus three attack to our tree creatures, earth creatures, whatever that will be. Um, so, yeah, we'll, I suppose we'll wear that. Where does that go? There we go, it goes there. Character looks very Diablo-esque. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but there's a sense of... Uh, Bit of a Diablo homage there. Um, so we've got this guy. We're going to attack. Oh, is this a guy to attack? Oh, no. We've got a bonus. Okay. Spells cost one less. So if you're watching this, what are your thoughts? Oh, let's do this. What are your thoughts on this game so far? You know, it's, it's an interesting take on the two genres. Um, and I'm enjoying it. Thus far. Uh, so let's attack this B. Stinger. So we've got here a forest wolf. And a stinger. So obviously he's going to evade. The first attack. So we need to think about what we do there. Uh, but we can get rid of that forest wolf. Nice and early. So we've got 34 to start with. Let's have a look. So we're going to need some health out there. So I am going to go. Let's drop him out there. And let's drop Chewy out there. So Chewy should negate the Stinger. Because he will evade. But he will attack back. And then we will evade. But we will then steal. One of each of his powers anyway. So fingers crossed this works.
Okay, no, we didn't get to do the steel. So, right, okay, so we'll learn that for future. Uh, Steve, yeah, it is. It's super polished. Um, I, I love the look of it. Um, and that is the thing. I think they are the, the, the in-game at the moment. The, the cards, battlers and deck builders um, are just ten a penny. There's absolute tons of them. But in saying that, when a game does it a bit differently, I am all for that, for sure. Um, it's not just another deck builder that takes the same. Same with Hand of Fate. I think that done a really good job of doing something differently. Uh, right, let's take out this wolf. There we go. And then let's end our turn. Uh, so he died. He died, so... Can't actually do much, so what we will do, we'll just attack. We've got a bit of a bullet sponge in a way here, so and he's poisoned as well now. Let's end that turn. There we go, and done. And we'll collect more loot. Uh, we can sacrifice a creature and draw a card. Got no real need for that at the moment. But I'm assuming when it comes to synergy later, that will be very important. What's that? Next creature you summon has a plus one attack. There we go. Hidden bonuses. Oh, and another bonus. Okay. So what we've got here, what can he do? He can paralyze. Creature's first attack paralyzes the target. That's fine. The paralyzed creature can't attack next turn. So we can do four. Get the ice wall field. We can end this in one go, surely. Okay, let's get rid of you. That's that. And then ice wolf. Do that damage. There you go. Nice and easy. And another tiny biter. Ah, excellent. Ah, now, what's interesting, so I've not done this before. Let's have a look, shall we? We go in. Is this like Freeze or 2048? Do I need to get another tiny biter to upgrade to another Chewy to then upgrade? Or can I drop this tiny biter... Onto the Chewy. This is exciting. Um, I should say something like, put your guesses in the comments or something like that that the, the YouTubers do, but I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Nope. I need to level up another tiny biter into another Chewy, and then obviously I can go Chewy to Chewy. That's, that's okay, that's interesting. So there's a reason to keep collecting all the cards. Um, which I like because uh, when I play Slay the Spire, which is an absolutely outstanding game, uh, when I play that, it's, you have to be very selective with what you pick up. Whereas with this, there seems to be no reason not just to pick up all the cards. So, yeah, I like that. Uh, what's this? Treant Warden. Let's see what the Treant Warden do. Oh, yeah. Slay the Spire is, yeah. If that's what you need to be aiming for. Um, it's like FPS is needing to aim for, or, or story based FPS is needing to aim for Half Life, Half Life 2. Um, which I think is why uh, Titanfall 2 is such a standout single player experience because it took what was good about the Half-Life games and what they brought to the, to the genre and to video games on the whole and did something with it um, rather than trying to be another Me Too military shooter. So, and Slay the Spire, yeah, does the same. It, it's, it's become the standout title that everything should aspire to be. Right. So he gives one plus health to a random ally, but there's only him. So we've got a nice cheap card to play. That's fine. Um, yeah, without going too much into Titanfall 2 during a 
a, a, a card collecting deck building game y yeah it was it it's needed to, it should have done better and it is a shame i think the first game maybe screwed it over a bit with the exclusivity and the online only but ah, there you go might talk about that another time actually because i love that game so let's get some cheap damage in and then we've got what we've got 28 so we can play chewy and we can play can he be paralyzed he can be paralyzed and we can play uh, mind you that's not going to do much is it so let's play chewy see what we get on the next draw that's at least taking him out but we've done the damage what have we got now He'll do two, and he'll avoid that first damage, and then he'll take another one. And that we can get in. Oh, we might be struggling here, so let's get that card in. And then... Let's play him in, actually, because we'll get five for the next one. I might have done this wrong, but we'll see what happens. So you do your job there. Gives us that. He can only make the one attack, so we've kept him there. But look, oh, he's made it into regenerate. Uh, we've got five. Can't do anything. So he's two, and he's going to do four, but he's going to do that damage there. Hmm. We could, let's get, I sacrifice him, I might have just screwed this one, um, he got me, bugger, see what happens here. Oh, well, so I've lost them cards. And I've got to earn them back. Okay. Well, there we go. We get added in to so this. It's a roguelike. Uh, let's go nab that key. So that's interesting then. Uh, it's, it's a procedurally or randomly generated... Card collecting, roguelike, isometric, yeah. It ticks all the boxes. What's it been doing? Oh, okay, that's good, that's handy. So where can we put that? There it goes, okay. So we do lose items, so that's good to know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I, all this needs is to go into a sort of a retro 2D pixel art style for a portion of it, um, just for fun. And that is that is indie game bingo. Uh, let's get rid of him. So deal one damage for free. We've got 30 to play with. School, oh, we can get upgrade those school points. School, school points? School points. 3, 9, 18, 16, he'll do 2, so we can get rid of that in 1, 2, 3, so let's damage you, play you, play you, and just get that done, we'll go pop, come on, there we go, pop, Oh, what was I do wrong? Did I not? Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, Necromanta, or Necronator, sorry, is interesting, because it's, yeah, and it's a, oh, see, this hasn't got the tower defence in it. We missed out tower defence. Um...
What I do like, though, actually, it's an interesting point. Um, and it's, again, it's something, it's why I'm such a big fan of indie titles um, like this. This game cannot exist in the AAA market. Um, it's just, it's too much of a risk. It's either, oh, it's been done, or do people really want this take on a tired genre? Um, and it wouldn't succeed. Um, it doesn't get the chance to breathe. It, it has to make money. And that, that's what it is in that genre. Uh, it, sorry, in that market. And being an indie title, self-published off from an indie publisher, gives these games a chance to breathe, to actually build over time. And that, that's brilliant. Um, if you look for comparison, so you've got sort of like Necronator there. Now, I've not played it myself yet. Um, and that, so it's got RTS and tower defense parts to it. And, you know, it's along with the other mechanics within the game. Now, another title that tried that and bombed hard, unfortunately, because it was expected to make much more money because it had big names behind it, is you look at Brutal Legend, um, which was an interesting idea. Um, I don't think it hit all the right notes, but there was definitely a base for something to build from that. A, a, a sequel could have sorted out any of the issues and gone from there. <coughs> Excuse me. However, it didn't... Yeah, you're right. It, 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 it was marketed appallingly, and, but they didn't give it a chance to breathe. They went, right, it's not made the money we wanted it to make. It's bombed and we're, we're killing it. Um, so, it, but as an indie, if that was under a Raw Fury, a Devolver Digital or, or something like that, or they existed back then, I think we would have seen Brutal Legend 2 possibly improve on everything. Uh, but you're right, I, it wasn't what I expected. I didn't know there was going to be tower defence at any point in that game. I thought it was just going to be a, a metal-based 3D romp with Jack Black making quips all over the place. And that's what it started out as. So, but anyway, I digress. I do that a lot, by the way. If you do become a new follower, I digress a lot. I'm like an unfunny Eddie Izzard. Uh, so let's take this creature down. Oh, there's two of them. What do they do? We've got... Okay, and we've got to take down the archer. We've got 32. He'll do two. So we need to take down... Let's do... Okay, let's put that in there. Do 11. Let him take that early damage there. He'll do four. Oh, let's, so let's now go. You do that attack. There we go. You do that attack. I'm tempted to play the Ice Wolf, actually. Yeah, look, he's done. So let's play the Ice Wolf. To see, he can't take all three of us. And let's take this archer down. look good in heels I, I can i can walk in heels whether i look good in it depends how confident i get um, i do like old eddie is hard though he's um around the time he done circle and things like that was when he was at his best i love love that stand up anyway cardicalism Seems to be getting some mega cards. Let's let's upgrade some of these cards, shall we? We've got a tiny bite, a tiny bite. Let's. What can we do? No oh, cards got okay. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. And what these nine? That is costing for one and seven. Sixteen for two and four. Hmm. Oh no, there we go, I've done that wrong. 1 and 7 for 3 and 12 and 18. It's double. I don't think we can yet, so we're not we're not going to yet, no. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see how far we can get onto this this run. Um, what have we got here? Plates of light. Uh, where will these go up here? I don't even see what they did. Sorry. Restores two health to all your creatures at the end of. Okay, yeah, that's going in. So it seems the synergy is rather than the cards themselves. The synergy in this comes from the equipment you've actually got, which is again, it's a nice, it's a nice angle on it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things there, so we'll take this down. Five and six. Uh, let's drop Chewy in there. Nice and early. What's that? He's going to do three, and then we'll stick that in there. Let's do the five, and we'll take this guy out. Nice. At... All right, all fine. We'll stick this out as well. There you go. So. Oh, there you go. I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's me misreading the cards. I've got there. another tiny biter. Oh, now we can do a see if we can get up to a level three. An arrow strike. Uh, right, let's. So tiny biter into a tiny biter. That's a chewy, and then chewy into chewy gives us an om nom, because of course it does. Now that costs twenty to play though. That gives us four and two, whereas that costs us twelve, and gives us three and one. Hmm. We will, let's keep it at that for now. Let's not upgrade for upgrade's sake. Take out this centaur. Oh, he's a bit of a sponge. Uh, so let's get this out because there's some gold back. And what's he got with him? Ultimate 2 deals 9 damage. Jesus. Um... Let's get this out. Let's steal. That's fine. So that's... That. Okay. Now... What we do? You... Attack? Because you can't attack the second time. So he will now attack there. That's fine. That's him dead. Got 13 to play with. And let's go with... Two. That'll give us one. Right, let's stick you out. You will poison, which is good. Yeah, there we go. You do that attack. Poison at the end when we end turn should win us the round. There. Oh, no, not yet. There we go. Now we win. So I know this is out on other consoles and uh, Switch as well, I believe. Um, or coming out on those at some point. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. I'm really... What's this key do? Oh, no, let's go back over here. That key does nothing. We probably need that to get out of the level. Uh, right, let's flee that at the moment. I don't want to... There we go. Now we'll... What have we got here? Two golems and a crawling bug. Nice attack. So he's going to do what we need to get rid of them first. So, got 32 to play with. Uh, so let's put our own scorpion down. Let's put another scorpion down. That's fine. And. Should we play the thief? Yes, yeah, play the thief. So, 
let's paralyze let's poison you let's poison you and let's attack you uh, here we go send that turn So we can do four, two, one, we can do that. Oh, there we go. This is done. We're out of this. So you out with them. You out there. There we go. And you out there. There we go. That was a lot easier than it, I thought it was going to be. We're getting some achievements as well. That's always good. Um, oh, this... See what we can do with that thief. So one of the things um, I suppose I should be mentioning with stuff like this. Um, frame rates and stuff, possibly. I don't know. A um, couple of little hitches when you go to into, before you attack, it seems to hang up. And sometimes during the battles it hangs a little bit. But it's a card game. It doesn't matter. Um, see, look there. It does it. Um, but I'm not getting bleeding edge. Uh, 120 frames per second. Um, if that's your thing. Um, who actually worries about that? Do people actually worry, seriously worry about that? Frame rates in games like this? Suppose they do. Oh, Christ. Right, he can do... Right, so we've got to play this one clever. He can do three. But he can... We can go chewy, chewy. Crawling bug. And that'll do three, six, eight. He can do four. So if we go, I'm gonna go. Let's go all in. Let's go. Chewy, crawling bug, and a thief. You will evade and take that first attack away. There we go. You will attack, and he can't attack back. You will attack and get me some extra gold. And he's now in trouble because we could always attack him back every time. There's the victory. Yeah, people care because people. Um, so I suppose, yeah, if you're the sort of person that you're after just commentary on dropped frames and resolutions and that kind of thing, I'm not going to be giving you that because I don't really care. Unless it completely breaks the game that makes it unplayable, I don't care. Um, ooh. Oh, yeah, crap, we've got to get out of here because he's going to come and attack us. I forgot about him. Quick, 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 quick. This guy comes to attack you. Once you've defeated all the enemies. So you need to get out. There we go. I have no idea why that mechanic's in there so far. Uh, but the first time it happened, I, I yeah, I panicked. Uh, now, I'm not saying... The developers here have played Diablo. Um, but I think they've played Diablo. Uh, so what we've got to do. Uh, innkeeper, quick here to find out more. Talk to the innkeeper for a quest. Uh, complete quest and he'll reward you with new cards in return. There we go. And what else? New features. Quick here, sir. Approach the goblin in the cellar, because that's where goblins belong. Possibly. Um, he'll offer unfair trades that won't make sense most of the time, but sometimes, sometimes, it might be worth it. Ah, so that's what... Okay, let's talk to you. Uh, how adventure, I need a brave soul to recover this item for me. 
For your troubles, you'll get one common card. Okay, now, where's the basement, the cellar? Uh, give me your crawling bug and a chewy and I will get a healing potion for 10. No! Now, considering, like, so I like playing healers on games like Overwatch and uh, other MOBAs when I play them. I, I love playing a healer. Uh, but when it comes to these games, I kind of really neglect the health cards. Um, yeah. Hang uh, on. So what are we doing? Where's our... Yeah, we know that. Hang on. So look at my quest log. Level up these crawling bugs actually. Boom bug. And level up these thieves. Yeah, so I've level up these thieves. But what did he want us to do? Um right, okay, so it doesn't tell us, so let's leave. We'll see if we can do this quest and then I will call it. Um, these are always going to be around an hour at most, 30 minutes to an hour, these ones, because they are just a quick look. Uh, so, gone into the room. Oh. Let's get that. Uh, new artifact. Got a cape. Sure, why not? More bonuses. More bits. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll attack you. So we've got here a big frostbite. And what are you? Beacon Squire and a Beacon Warrior. Okay. So let's go with Assassin. And what's he going to do? He's going to get me six back. Uh, you can take him out nice and early, actually. So that's good. So now let's go with Paralyze. Now you take him out, you paralyze him, which means he can't attack him, and then he can get the attack for the win. So you go. You paralyze. Let's end that turn. And then you attack for the win. Hey, I'm learning. And another tiny biter. How many tiny biters we got now? One, but oh, they're leveled up to there. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, right, we need that key. Can we get. Okay, yeah, we'll attack the tiger. So he can always retaliate. So we need to. Right, this is going to be interesting. So we need to take him out. So let's, they're all going to go 18, so let's get some poison out there. But we're not going to attack you yet. We're going to take you out using poison. So you get gone there. He's poisoned. You get gone there. We've got 20 left. Oh, I don't like these chewies. They're going to have to go. Let's end that turn. So he's put, let's not worry about him. So he's always going to retaliate. We're only doing one damage there. 20. OK, 
Okay, so you can go in actually. Let's drop you in. You do that damage. You do that damage. And he's going to do four onto one of them. Do one. We might have. Oh, no, no, we should be okay. Because if he attacks him and kills him. Right, okay, we should be good. There we go. And one for the old victory. Nice. Oh. Well. This is a contender for game of the year. Look. Oh, a cute little kitty. A mini menace. Where do I get the physical card? I want a physical card of that. Let's continue this way. What's that? One and three, four and seven. Always retaliate. Two less damage. So we want. Let's get you out nice and early. Let's paralyze with you. So you paralyze him. There we go. He's only going to do one. So, yes. Because he can't retaliate. So, yeah. Right. So, one and three. You can do four and one. So, you've gone. And then, bye bye, kitty. Sorry. Another wolf, okay, there we go. So let's have a look at our cards, what can we do? We've still only got 40 there. Right, we've got the innkeeper's artifact. Now, do we push on? I don't know. There's a ring there. Oh no, we can just go straight out, there we go. Right, okay, let's go hand this in. What's that? Cannot leave the realm until... Okay, right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, six and eight. What can you do? When you die, some of the three... Three companions. That's eight. Uh, oh, uh. Tell you what, we're going to get everything out here. Let's, let's just go for it. There you go, look. Oh, I should have wasted... Bugger. So there's still that damage there. He can't do much, can he? There we go. Nice. Can we leave now? Cool. That's a nice card. Of course, we've now got to trudge all the way back to now find an enemy. Oh, okay, right, let's get rid of these. What can you do? You soon run the man line each turn. So we need to get rid of you quickly. Need to get rid of you quickly. Let's get you out there nice and early and just do that first attack. <laughs> um, let's pop you there. Let's pop you there. 
You take that out, I think. No, it's a crystal. Oh, I don't know. My eyes are screwy. Oh, there we go. There's one more there. Let's get rid of this frost goblin quickly. Uh, let's drop you out. Let's drop Mr. Wolfie out. Uh, what are we doing? You're going to paralyze. It'll do some damage. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Now you can evade as well, can't you? So let's put you in there. If you do that attack there. There we go. And then we end that turn. Um, okay, so you now take that out. You take him out. No. There we go. Right, we've got to get ready to run, haven't we? Because we're going to be chased down. Another dire wolf. We'll sort that out later. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. I have no idea why this mechanic's in here, but yeah, it's fun. There we go. To the interdimensional pub. We'll hand in this quest and see what card it gives us. A frost goblin. There we go. So, yeah, that's Card Clism. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like subscribe and all that if, if if you've enjoyed what you've seen um uh give us a follow on twitch if you're watching this on the youtube version uh all the links you can see are down the bottom uh let me do that, that, that yeah, look, you can see up there um all the links are there uh yeah so yeah thank you for watching that's cardicalism and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.